I'm going to start off by looking at some miniatures from Oathsworn miniatures. So uh, they recently ran a Kickstarter called The Dark, The Devout and The Heroic. And if you've uh, seen some of my streams before, if you've come across Oathsworn miniatures, you'll know they do a lot of um, anthropomorphic animals. Um, they do other things as well, but that's one of the things that I really love about them. So I backed the Dark, the Devout and the Heroic. And what I thought I would do, it got delivered this week, is I thought I would show you the heroic section of the Dark, the Devout and the Heroic. So I've taken things out of the box and they're in their bags here, but I haven't had a close look at them yet. Um, I've made sure everything is all present and correct. But apart from that, we're kind of unboxing together. So I hope you enjoy and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check out everything that's there. So... Um, I've got my little list here of things which came as part of this. This is the heroic section down here. I've had to, you can't read this very well because I had to change the camera settings so that it better picks up the uh, like metal unpainted minis. So other things don't show so well on it at the moment. That's why you can't really read the list, but we'll work our way through. So we're going to start by looking at the Puffin Captain. So this is the first mini that we're looking at. I will, of course, take it out of the bag, so you don't need to worry about that. But yeah, so... This is, um, as the name suggests, so this is a puffin, the animal, a puffin, and he is a captain. Um, and yeah, he looks looks very, very cool. We've got it on autofocus, so it should pick up okay. Um, and you can see there, yeah, he is, he is very, very cool. So this guy's actually made of resin. Most of these are metal, but this guy is a resin miniature. Um, and yeah, I, I love, uh, I don't know how you sculpt a puffin's beak to look like it's kind of set in a resolute way of determination but that's what's been achieved by earth saw miniatures here i think it looks fantastic um you can see it's not over sculpted on the back it's just done nicely he's got this kind of waistcoat on to allow the wings to stick out and i like that the wing is what's actually grasping the sword um but yeah it's uh it's looking really really good he's uh, the two things on here are pistols so he's kind of like a, a a sea captain i think rather than a um you know a captain of a guard or something well that's at least how i uh picture him uh so these come on slightly molded base you can see there's not loads going on, on that base but they also the set comes with some plastic bases for me to use as well hello mighty Lancer. oh that's a new emote mighty dancer i like it um yes so this is the puffin captain who I think looks fantastic. So we'll put him away and move on to the next one. There are in total uh, 11 in this set to look at. Uh, I think if my quick maths is correct, uh, three, six, nine, 11, yes. Uh, ah, Katarina's it, wonderful, yes. Katarina is fantastic. So this is the Fox Knight. Um, <laughs> I did need a little bit of help from the website because my animal identification was not quite all it could have been, but you can see here, I love this like paw print on the axe. Uh, the metal armor looks great. You can just about make out that it's like a fox face rather than a human face. Um, even with the changed camera settings, it's not possible to see every little piece of detail on here on the metal, but hello, Lenore, good to see. You. I'm looking at miniatures from Oathsworn Miniatures. This is a Kickstarter that arrived this week. These are the set they describe as the heroic. Um, so yeah, so this is a Fox Knight. Hello, Carlos. Good to see you. Um, this is a Fox Knight. So just to give you an idea of scale, uh, let's see. Here's a Reaper human. So these vary in scale a little bit. So this Fox is bigger than an average human. <laughs> what a hecking cool mini, says Carlos. Yeah, absolutely. You just missed. I'll show you again very quickly for those of you who've uh, just arrived. We just had a look at the Puffin Captain. Uh, who is from this set as well. I'll just get him out again very quickly to have a look at for you guys. Um, but this is the the Puffin Captain, who is a absolutely fantastic mini. I love... Yeah, I th the um, the Fox guy is about a Goliath size. That's true. That's true. This is the Puffin Captain. I love Oathsworn miniatures, um, like anthropomorphic animals. So yeah, this one is resin. The others are uh, metals. This one's about humanoid, human size. You can see here when I hold these up next to each other, this one is resin, these are metal. So uh, I think there are two resin in total of the ones that we're going to look at, and the rest are metal. So there we go. Um, here we go. So yeah, they've got that hefty metal feel to them. This one is Hair Warrior 2. So there you can see uh, the big hair ears. 
Uh, it got a huge sword. I love it. Um, and you can see if I cover that up. There we go. You can see the like pack on the back. I know it's not possible, even with the changed camera settings, it's not possible to pick out every single um, detail on these when they're in uh, bare metal. But they look absolutely beautiful. Uh, yeah, good guard pose, absolutely. And a size comparison again. There we go. There's our humanoid. So this guy's quite tall as well, like large humanoid size, not uh, not quite as big as the other ones. But that guy again is amazing. This is another one that I absolutely love. I mean, I love all of these to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> it's it's like uh, he's like picking your favourite from a you know a group of things that are all amazing. Um, this is the Badger Ranger. So this is the other resin one. I said there were two resin ones in here. This is the other. Uh, resin one. This is the, um, what did I just say this was? This is the Badger Ranger. There we go. So you can see again all the beautiful detail carved into there. Um, I think the, the faces of these are what are particularly impressive for me because I, I've seen other manufacturers making these kind of anthropomorphic animals and they, they capture the face in that kind of animalistic way. But there's something about these faces that really give the animal faces almost human expressions. They make them really, really expressive. And I, I love that about these miniatures. Again, a size comparison. There we are. So this guy's a bit bigger than a humanoid as well. Someone said uh, about GW scale. Well, let's use that for comparison as well. Um, oh, uh, I don't have too many of them around. This is a Chaos Warrior uh, that was around. So yeah, it is a bit more in keeping with that. We'll go back quickly to the uh, the rabbit. Yeah, so it's it's that kind of 32 mil scale rather than 28 millimeter scale. <laughs> Carlos is singing the Badger song to himself in chat. I like it. Um, there we go. So that's, yeah, you can see the colors aren't coming out very well because of the changes I've made to the camera to try and get the basic metal to show up. But um, yeah, these are looking good. This is another one. This, this one speaks to me in my soul as a Scotsman. This is the Cat Hillfolk Clan Piper. So we've got here, uh, he's basically playing the bagpipes, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so he's, uh, as I say, Cat Hillfolk is the kind of uh, uh, description of this. So it's kind of like a tabaxi, I guess. Um, and you can see, again, so it's got all the like ribbons coming off there. Um, yeah, exactly. It's it's the, the character and the expression of the faces, really, that make these... I would say Oathsworn probably do my favourite of the um, anthropomorphic animal miniatures that I have. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Um, so that was the Cat Hillfolk Clan Piper. Yeah, Tabaxi Bard with bagpipes. Absolutely, yeah. I've got to play that as a character in D&D &D now. I do like that idea. I could definitely do that. One of the hardest things to paint, in my humble opinion, is... Um, uh, like uh, tartan onto something. So that'll be one for me to, to get lots of practice in. It's something that I've done. I've never done it on stream because it takes a bit of uh, a bit of work to get right. And, you know, you have to carefully curate what you do on stream. This is the Frog Wildling Warrior. Uh, and I think, I mean, to me, it has the feel of kind of like a monk or something like that with the staff. Um, yeah, again, Beautiful, beautiful mini. Um, I guess this could be like a Gripply. Um, that's why not many people play Harlequins, yeah. Doing all the different like tartans and diamonds and all sorts of things that go onto them. Um, this could be an awesome Pathfinder Gripply. I think it's a bit big for a, a Gripply. I'm not sure what the size is. Someone who is a, a regular Pathfinder player might be able to uh, help me out with that. I'm not sure if Gripply are kind of like gnome size is the idea. I don't really remember. But yeah, this is another beautiful beautiful mini and again it's got such a frog-like face but it has such such an expressive I think it's the mouth particularly they're all kind of set in a determined uh, determined way and I think they're absolutely fantastic uh, let's put this one down again so we've got here rabbit guard sergeant is coming up next and this, to be honest this is the one I had to check so the rabbit guard sergeant and the hair warrior are the ones I had to check on the site to make sure which was which. But uh, yeah, this is, again, uh, you can see there some of the beautiful sculpting on this. This is a lovely um, kind of, yeah, 
soldier to arms kind of pose for the rabbit. Uh, you can see there again all that lovely sculpting on there. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. They they all have a little bit of uh, flashing on them. They will need a bit of cleanup before I get to uh, priming them and painting them. But nothing out of the ordinary, really. You can you can maybe see if I show you here. There's some bits coming off the base. There's also a slight ridge along the base that I'll have to file down to stick onto a base. But it's really nothing out of the ordinary for metal miniatures. Um, you will always really find a bit of flashing and a bit of extra material. So nothing particularly to worry about there um, and yeah um, again I, I always find myself drawn to looking at the faces as I say so uh, yeah okay so that one was the rabbit guard sergeant next up we have this is the mouseketeer not a Disney mouseketeer which I think is a thing but uh, you can see this guy's a bit smaller but he's he looks very very cool you, it, it's a little hard to see what's going on with his weapon there, but it's kind of, uh, it's basically, I think he's drawing his sword out of his scabbard. This bit down here, it kind of looks like he's holding a pickaxe. This is actually his tail, which you can see coming round. When I come to the back, you can see the tail is coming round there. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a lovely, lovely mini it, again. Uh, and again, we'll go for a size comparison. So that one's a bit smaller. This is kind of the size of, if, you, if you're thinking Reaper miniatures, they do their mouselings, um, which are about the same size as this. I have to be honest, I, I actually prefer these. I think they have a bit more character and feel. And the, the mouselings are very, very cute. They, they uh, have a kind of cuteness in terms of, they feel very animalistic, whereas this feels much more kind of uh, anthropomorphic animal to me. So yeah. That's a, an awesome Mouseketeer, ready to take on Richelieu's troops. There's a Three Musketeers reference for you. Um, right, this is another one. I have to say, this is, again, this is one of my favourites. <laughs> Always hard to pick, but I'm showing you them in the order they're listed on the, uh, the sheet, by the way. Um, just to keep my brain straight. Uh, this is a Feist Road Warden. And he's... Uh, he's a bit taller again. He's a little bit taller than a humanoid, but of that kind of level. Um, he's got a crossbow in his hand. He's got a very fancy looking uh, hat on. You can see there with a feather coming out of it. I think my favourite is this is like a wasp or a hornet that he's got on his arm, <laughs> which is amazing. So you could you could play him actually as like a, a ranger or something with a pet, a companion who is a wasp. It's very hard to get a good shot of it, but you can kind of see it there, can't you? Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. He's got like a, yeah, a wasp or a hornet on his uh, on his arm, which, yeah, exactly. He's using a wasp like a falcon. Um, he's kind of got, it, you, so his hand is curled up under here and it's just landed on his hand. And he's got, um, uh, as I say, he's got the crossbow. He's got a sword. Um, he's wearing quite, kind of what to me, reads is quite a noble looking uh, um, outfit you can see he's got like short pantaloons with ruffles on around here um, and quite a smart looking kind of jacket under there I shall stop try and stop bouncing around quite so much so you can see a bit better um, but yeah another absolutely fantastic I to my I could paint them as golden pantaloons couldn't I absolutely um, yeah there's, there's a bit of uh, flashing going on there which is uh, but as I say, removing flashing from metal minis generally is quite easy because you can just kind of twist it off almost. Um, yeah, so that's another fantastic one. He actually comes with, so this is, the two of these are kind of a set. This is Stag Beetle Grub. So it's actually like a little, uh, uh, yeah, well, I mean, Beetle Grub as it's described. So it's, uh, it's kind of uh, sitting there rearing up like that and as I say it actually comes as a set with this guy so hello Tony hello Wickedy lovely to see you um, so I'm looking at the recently delivered Kickstarter from Oathsworn Miniatures at the moment and this guy is called a Feist Road Warden and this is his trusty companion Stag Beetle Grub um, and as, I, as noted before with his wasp kind of being held like a falcon as well. He's a, he's an absolutely beautiful miniature. I really, really love this guy. 
Um, it's it's so hard picking favourites from these, but I think this guy is certainly right up there for me. Um, so I'll put them back down. Then there's only one more from this set to look at. Hello, Katarina. Lovely to see you. Um, this guy is a mole in a hole. Uh, there we are. So this you can see him just sticking his head out. Uh, oh, I'm not even in the draw, wicked I I'm in a p position of honour and privilege. Uh, so this is, uh, as I say, mole in a hole. So he's coming out of his hole and he's drawing his sword from his back. Um, and yeah, he's uh, he's a, another absolutely beautiful mini. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I did paint a mole in a hole, actually. I should have brought him through. I brought one. I, I painted one from one of their earlier expansions. But I uh, I don't have it here, unfortunately. I'll have to show it on a later stream. Um, but yeah, mole in a hole. Looking good. 